Let's see if Glenn's able to overcome that. And maybe take this out, or is Echo Sean gonna give Glenn another reason to not like Shulk? <laughs> Shulk Jeff definitely a cheater. He's the guy looking at looking at all your answers on the SATs, and then he gets a sixteen hundred, and you somehow do worse than him. You know? <laughs> oh my god! Well, Nintendo finally getting that limit, however, uh, to try and combat this Buster just a little bit. Echo Sean. Going at it with these landing nares, the limit cross slash isn't quite going to connect. So Echo Sean still throwing out that laser sword. Uh, comfortable lead for him here. Oh my goodness. I think that's it. I don't think Cloud can come back. Oh no, he had a double jump. Yeah, that was wow. fine. Yeah, definitely good uh, conservation there for Glintendo. Uh, staying alive in this stock and hopefully has an opportunity to even things back up before things get crazy bad. I love how you just saw him wait. Like, you're not gonna snap ledge, surely you won't snap ledge, and then he just goes for the forward air and then Glintendo just grabs the ledge anyway. That was a great defensive blade beam to make sure Echo Sean couldn't really mess with his recovery. So good stuff from Glenn. Glenn's really good at using like neutral B and side B to mix up his landing and recovery like that. Yeah, you definitely gotta be tricky with your recovery if you're a cloud main, because those better players will snipe you out of the air if you don't mix up every single time. Uh, that shield went out of grab. Echo Sean trying to get something that air to air with the forward air. Glenn Tendo, uh, fantastic job at safeguarding his recovery so far. Yeah, going super okay. low this time. Yeah, well, that, that was the first time Glenn decided to go like that low before. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, the trade definitely not quite in uh, Glenn Tendo's favor there. Shulk just has so much range available to him and. Uh, Tough to trade, even if you're Cloud. <laughs> oh my gosh, well, he's just speed. spinning around. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you have to consider the speed combos are so dangerous against a character like Cloud because they just take him right to the ledge and then you're able to, con you could convert off of that with a ledge guard. So, yeah. Yeah, I mean, we saw that danger right there. However, Glintendo kind of brushing that aside a little bit with that back air. Hopefully he can get this momentum and avoid this Smash Monado, but this is the most dangerous part of playing against Shulk. Yeah. Good stuff from Glenn, play patient, just waiting out the Smash Monado, only really eating a throw. Not and not at the percent where throws are that big of a threat against Shulk, even with Smash Monado, so gonna make it back. Yeah, now playing a very cautious measured neutral. Looking good so far for Glenn to try and get back in it, but still suffers a pretty tough deficit. Wow. I mean, his his his, his recoveries have just been so good. Like, <laughs> it's been so tough for Echo Sean to uh, mess with them, and Shulk is one of the best edge guarders in the game because of that forward air, so that's crazy. <laughs> yeah. And like... Like Shulk, yeah, like you mentioned, Shulk is such a good character for edge guarding because of that forward air, and you have like jump on auto, speed on auto to help him get to the places he needs to be to get those uh, forward air games. Okay, tense situation diffused with that getup attack. Let's see how Echo Sean can respond to that because suddenly the match is looking a little bit out of hand. Safe back air, good roll into not fall for that shield pressure. Glintendo might be losing the stock. Yep. Yeah, he tried going for the suicide up B because it was too low to make back normal. <laughs> oh my goodness, the jump call out from Glenn. Oh my gosh, run up up smash with Cloud is so funny because it looks like he just does not care. He's just throwing that gigantic thing out and it is so strong. It's such a funny move. <laughs> okay, doesn't finish the cross loss and block. Trying to look up for some sort of mix up. Looking for mix-ups. Both players playing very cautious, uh, pressing the shield button quite a bit. Neither of them wants to take a bad hit in this juncture. Glintendo the one with limit, however. A ton of mobility options now available. Tries to hard read a jump, nothing doing. Still only 8% on him, though. Uh-oh. Yeah, that's a great combo, and it's, it's not done yet. No. Glenn's still in a bad spot. 
Ooh, nice up smashes still though. Echo Sean is definitely a player that loves to jump a lot and Glen Tendo is catching on. It can be kind of hard to punish Shulk for his jumps uh, because of how much range he has, but if he could get them preemptively, he does. He takes a long time to swing and Glen Tendo is definitely recognizing that really well. However, edge guards, okay, has to burn limit. Still out there. Good luck pressure coming out from Echo Sean. These grabs have really been mixing going up as he Echo Sean hasn't really used that option all throughout the set. And now he has Smash Minato. I, I can't believe that he got out of that unscathed. I mean, Echo Sean still kind of dropping the ball with these Smash Minato uh, ledge guards, but Glintendo has just been playing so well. This is this is anyone's game. It's so tough to call. <laughs> okay, we're seeing the Shield Minato right now. Glint not really going to be able to get any. Uh, Anything off of that, because Shield Model wouldn't really, uh, wouldn't allow him to knock him off stage that much. Oh, oh that's gosh, the commitment! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> he didn't even care. Look, he had enough time. He's just like, yo, that was such a bad commitment that I can up smash twice. <laughs> ay ay ay, dude. Glintendo definitely making the most out of that first game, so. Uh, good stuff to him. It was looking like really tense very often in those offstage situations, but man, just recovering perfectly. <laughs> yeah, like, like you, you mentioned it, forward air and like just Shulk's Monado arts, put them together. You have such a devastating recipe for edge guard potential. And against a character like Cloud, it's it's just a recipe for disaster for Cloud. But Glenn was able to, you know, he honestly he he came down really aggressive, like throwing out those neutral Bs, throwing out limit neutral B. Getting those forward airs to sort of uh, condition Echo Sean to like, hey, you got to respect me as I'm coming back to stage. Yeah, seriously. I mean, all the mix ups were just so pivotal in him taking that game. And we're looking at FD now. Interesting pick here from Echo Sean. I think it's a pretty good one, however. Uh, Glimpendo is definitely thriving off of some of those platforms uh, as other ways to get out of disadvantage. So. Uh, Echo, Echo Sean definitely looking to uh, take his advantage state to the next level here, but Glintendo is trying to respond with something else right now. No jump right now available for Echo Sean, and the momentum continues. Yeah, and you have to consider with the stage counter pick, Shulk's goal is to get take Cloud to the side with his combos, and the platforms really weren't aiding him that much. They're probably helping Glenn more, helping him. Oh my gosh! Yeah, uh, that's a pretty good anti-air if you didn't notice from the first game. Uh, <laughs> that move is strong and it covers a lot of area, Echo Sean. You gotta be careful about where you're drifting to. <laughs> he just, oh my god. <laughs> like ch changing this flight. Oh, oh no. no. Not making it back. We got the taunt coming out from Glenn. Yeah, Glenn definitely feeling himself right now. Uh, things are looking pretty wrapped up about oh, here. Oh, God. Connect. Man, that, that move hit like the uh, Star Wars sequels did. It didn't. It didn't yeah. hit. <laughs> You're gonna be like, wait, they didn't hit. <laughs> oh, man. oh, I see now. That's what you're going for. Oh, God. Either way, uh, Echo Sean trying to get some kind of momentum back. Glintendo having to air dodge, not able to make it back regardless. Uh, Joel can still cheat his way out of uh, two more stocks. You know he can do it. Uh, and Echo Sean is definitely a prominent Joel man. He has the ability to close this out and bring it back. Ooh. We're getting time to have that F smash. We're not sending Cloud anywhere. Yeah, the damage definitely a little bit useful here, but Echo Sean is seeing his own damage rack up just a bit. He needs Smash to work. Uh, ends up foregoing it for perhaps some different pressure. Echo Sean is just struggling so hard against Nintendo's empty pressure right now. He does not know how to approach this cloud. Yeah, honestly, I can kind of agree with not wanting Smash Monado up when Cloud has limit because you're you're one hundred percent like you're done like. <laughs> Yeah. Maybe something like a, a stray limit blade beam, which Glenn has been uh, doing a lot this set, might take your stock with Smash Renato up. 
Oh boy, oh, going low, but Glintendo just remaining patient, going high, and is able to get that double back air to close out the set. Glintendo looking very, very comfortable in that game too. Aided by an SD, but it doesn't even matter, man. Glenn was just too smooth. Yeah, I think the, the ledge pressure from Glenn was a pretty big deciding factor in that last game. It, it just like... Echo Shaman would normally get a pulled shield, Glenn would be able to drift in with the back air, and then, you know, what, what are you going to do next? Like, he could, he could F-tilt you, he could read the, the rollout, he could read the jump out like we just saw there with another back air. So, yeah. yeah. Nintendo, I'm moving on to, to winner's side, top eight. Oh, really?